Hey, this is Chad from Memphis Reptiles. We're going to do some updates today on some stuff that shed out. I'm here with uh, Mark from Balls Out hey guys. on the camera. And uh, this is clutch number nine. It's a fire yellow belly paired to a fire female. And that is a awesome little normal. Look how cool. And we also got, oh, that's a, uh, I think it's a normal male. Yeah. Got a little fire girl right here she's pretty nice beautiful really pretty we're gonna do a bunch of updates today because I had a lot of stuff shed out and when Mark's here love doing updates yeah <laughs> so, for real wow look at that this little fire yellow belly female beautiful man and all of these uh, will be available one of them might, might be spoken for already I'm not sure Then I was lucky enough to hit two male super fire possible yellow bellies. This one has a little hint of orange. Pretty hard to see. But I love these. These are almost like translucent looking. <laughs> They're gorgeous, man. We haven't hit them with the black light yet, but we're going to try it uh, after I get them eaten and stuff and see if we can see any yellow bellies stuff and I'm not sure if we will or not. Do you think we'll be able to see anything? Don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you would be looking for. Flames or pattern or probably flames. <laughs> okay. Well, we're definitely going maybe, to try. Maybe along the belly markers or something. So that was a pretty cool clutch. That's the uh, first white snakes I've ever hatched so pretty stoked on that one. And we're going to do an update also on clutch number 10. Clutch number 10. This was a my 8 ball male paired to the Super Mojave female. There we go. Okay. <laughs> well, everybody saw it. Dang, we ruined it. Not really. They'd have to pause it and then they wouldn't get all these looks. Ended up hitting a couple savannas. I think everything and this was female except for the Black Magic. So, got a female savanna right there. Another little bit lighter female uh, savanna. Really cool high white. And the savanna is the combo of? Cinnamon Mojo. So since this was super to super, everything would either be savanna or black magic. <coughs> and then this one, kind of on the fence about, thinking it's a savanna. It's just a really nice one. Dark head and... Yeah, I think there's something else going on there. Well... My male eight ball is was produced by my leasing line male, so there you go. Could be a little something going on. Could hmm. be. We'll show them the head on that one. Good grief! Nice. But those three turned out to be females, and I ended up losing the one with the uh, messed up umbilicus. It. I went in there to check on it the next day, and it was already DOA. So uh, that's sad, man. Yeah, it happens, man. I mean. You can't just sit around and beat yourself. Yeah, but like you that. don't gotta like it. No, I definitely don't like it. <laughs> no, no way, man. It breaks your heart. Because it was a black magic female, so. Oh man. And then I ended up hitting this male black magic, and he is just freaking smoking, awesome. That is. Look at that. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. And I considered keeping this dude. I have my male Black Magic Het Ghost, but my male Black Magic, I'm not sure he's uh, lease in line. I know this guy's lease in line. So, Dude, he's smoking. I love how the white's just, the pattern just drops. Yeah. It's just white. But that's clutch number 10. Super to Super is really fun. I'm really enjoying those clutches this season. <laughs> <laughs> no normals. Yep. All double jeans. Uh, clutch number 11. Clutch number what? Clutch number 11. This is clutch number 11. There we go. And they were already on the right side. Yeah, they all went to the right side. Oops. Oops. So out of this one, this was a black magic het ghost to a female ghost or hypo. Ended up getting this little male black pastel. 100%. 
hit ghost or hypo, whatever. It's really nice. Yep. And I got a pair of orange ghosts. This one's still in shed. Yeah, it's real shiny. Shiny. Shiny, shiny. I think that might be the male because the female has this awesome little. Oh, that's a mean little. <laughs> Yeah, we got Sparky has this over here. <laughs> awesome little head spot. Really cool. Oh, that is cool. Is that your dog escaping? I have no idea. Wow. I like her. Beautiful. Then I hit these two girls, and I'm keeping them both, so sorry. So don't ask. Don't even ask, because I love these. This is a female Hypo Mojave or Mojave Ghost. That is a great combo right there. Yeah. Made one of these a few years back when me and Mark did a breeder loan. And she's over at his house. And yep. she's getting big. Yep. <laughs> I can't wait to see this one when she's about 1,500 grams. For real. I love that girl, but this one has to be my favorite in the clutch. Drum, if I had to pick a favorite. Drum roll, please. It's a there we go. female black pastel ghost. Nice. Hypo. Very pretty. I love her. She's awesome. Yeah. When she shed out, she's just purple. Purple and orange. That head is just Yeah, your nice. camera's not picking it up, but I, I figured it's it hard to way. catch the true colors with hypo stuff, man. Yeah. I'm going to do an update on everything once I get them eaten and, you know, do like an update at the end of the season, show all the whole back stuff. Might take them outside and show them off in the sun. There you go. If it ain't too cold by that time, which it shouldn't be because we're in Memphis and it's hotter than the blazes of hell. I love that blushed out head, man. The whole head is just... Yeah, I really like this girl. Hypo. <laughs> That's clutch Beautiful. number 11. That was a great odds in that man, clutch. Man, great too. odds from a... And I've had crappy odds on my hypo clutches, and this one just... Man, four out of five. Can't beat that. Didn't hit the Black Magic Ghost, but I'm not complaining. I'll probably do the same pairing again next season and go for it again. And now we're going to look at clutch number 12, which was male calico bred to a uh, female pastel 100% head albino. I picked that girl up from Gregory Hall way back in the day. And ended up getting a pair. Everything was a pair. It was a pair of this, a pair of that. Ended up getting a pair of normals. <laughs> Got a pair of pastels, and everything's 50% head albino, so that one's really bright. Yeah. It might be head albino. I don't know. Very nice. A pair of head albinos. Don't, don't escape on us. And end up hitting a pair of calicos. They're kind of lower white. But I've heard they. they hatch. Yeah, I've heard they whiten up Probably as they medium, grow and shed. Looks like it's going to come about halfway up the body. It's pretty nice. Yeah. It's, it's only going to get better looking as it grows. Some feisty little boogers, too. <laughs> this is, I think this one is the female. She's a little bit already higher white. I love that stretched out pattern on the calicos, too. Yeah. Nice. She's pretty. Escapee. Aw, oh, busted. Then I hit... <clears throat> this really nice female pastel calico. It is nice. Really oh, yeah. nice. I like how it's got like the dirty pattern, kind of paradoxy looking stuff in the oranges. I think that's really that's cool. gorgeous, man. You got escape these too. You ain't going nowhere. I'm just going to my water bottle. <laughs> it's thirsty. I'm thirsty. <laughs> yeah. And then we got this one, which I think he's the crown jewel, I guess you'd say, of the clutch. Male pastel calico. Possible hit for albino. Super nice, man. Yeah. Really okay. nice. This little pastel doesn't Here, hold that stay one. in there. <laughs> nah, it's okay. <laughs> I'm like, I can hold it. Where'd <clears throat> but you go? There you are. really like this dude. He's got some busted up looking pattern at the back, like a little pastel ringer thing going on. <laughs> that's the one I. That's the one I cut. Uh, that was the last egg. Somebody commented and said I saved the best for last. Oh yeah. 
Nice. You were right. <laughs> yeah, for real. Very nice. But just want to do a little update on all of these uh, clutches that have been hatching out. My season's running a little bit later than it normally has, but most of these girls are first-year girls. This is a first-year girl, and she ended up giving me a... Uh, Eight eggs and one slug on our first clutch. We're gonna have a lot of stuff at Repticon. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We have, we're gonna do Repticon. It's gonna be uh, October thirty first, Halloween, and November first. And no, I'm not dressing up. Yeah, you are. I'm a grown man. We're dressing no. up. We're dressing up. And, <laughs> I'm a grown man. I don't play games. No, we're, we're dressing up. I don't. Wait, care. I'm an old man. <laughs> yeah, I'll old. dress up as an old man. Okay, that sounds. There good. we go. I'll I go as we were an old man. Be bikers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Either bikers or. Something. Yeah. Something cool. I'll have to grow a beard or something. <laughs> I can go as a homeless guy. We got a lot of old clothes at home. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> I could. <laughs> uh, the next clutch I've got coming up be clutch number, what clutch is this? 12? Yeah. Clutch number 13 is the next one and it's going to be my bumblebee <clears throat> female bred to super vanilla pastel. It'll be in about five days, four or five days, something like that. It's going to be pretty good. So everything in that clutch will be at least vanilla. And then we got two doses of pastel and spider. So you might be able to see a vanilla killer bee. Dude, the vanilla killer. That's what I really want to see. Yeah. What do you got coming up, man? Uh, I did. I've got one. I think the next one is due in about ten days. It's uh the same one I did last year, or the fire spider to that girl, uh from blackjack back to his mom, Tori. Mm -hmm. They gave me the whole clutch of black pewters and black pastels that I held back. Um, this time I won't be holding them back if I make black pewters and black pastels, but I just had to watch them grow. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, uh, the fire spider might have got it. I was gonna, I put the fire spider in with her just to see if it would change anything of what fire spiders look like. That's gonna be a good one. It's just a dinker girl I've been messing around with. She's Goldie's mom. Cool. So yeah, that's cool. And then uh. Damn. Basically, all I got is a couple of normal clutches left. So I've got the pewter queen. I think it was a pewter queen that got it to uh, another one of my dinkers that made my dinker lesser last that year. Pewter queen's making some awesome stuff this year too. Dude, man, <laughs> he's a uh, what was it to the calico? I think I only got one calico. No, I, I don't know. I got a, a pastel calico in there. It looked pretty cool. The queen bee wasn't. I don't think the queen bee's a calico, and I'm pretty sure that the pewter queen that he made is not calico either, but he did reproduce himself in that one clutch. Was that a male or a female? Male. You're going to sell that one? Yeah, or? I'm going to let him go. You're going to let it go? Ooh, so yeah, anybody it should be a... shedding out for the first time today. Don't hit me up for a few weeks. Yeah, Just don't hit him up time. yet, but anybody it's... that needs an awesome quad male that makes extremely beautiful combos, that's a great one to have. When you get some oh, yeah. lesser pastel and spider together. Oh, uh, um, oh gosh, the guy that did the Toffino first, uh, Pete Williams. Mm -hmm. Is that his name, Pete Williams? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, he, he had a, I think he did a king spin to, I watched it yesterday or last night. Anyways, king spin to a, a Cine Pewter, and he hit on one. I saw it in the egg. I'm like, dude, that's a Pewter Queen right there, man. I love them. It's one of my favorite combos, of course. I want to put, I want to add like a pastel gene to it and make a like the super pastel version. I think that's going to be really cool. Yeah. Sorry, I just love pewter queens. That's, that's cool. I also wanted to say, man, the reptile community lost a great person. Oh man. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but Tom Baker was in a accident and uh, which he, he lost his life in. So. That's really sad. Tom Baker is known for the Baker Line specials, and I, I don't know if he produced the first crystal, but I know the Baker Line crystals are awesome. So I only talked to him a time or two on Messenger, but he's really every time I talk to him, he's a really nice guy. So yeah, he's a you know, he was a great guy from what I understand. Condolences yeah. to his family, friends, yeah. anybody. That's really sad. But uh, prayers for his family. Yeah. But on a brighter note. This is being, you know, this is an awesome season, and uh, so far everything's working out great. I don't have any complaints on anything. Have a few hiccups here and there, but it happens. Yeah, it's just all part of being, you know, a breeder. Oh yeah. Get back in there. And uh, I'm really enjoying watching everybody's videos. Sorry that I'm not commenting all the time, but for some reason my phone won't let me comment. I can only comment from the computer, but I'm definitely liking your videos. So <laughs> keep up the good work. And uh. That's about all I've got. 
Uh, we'll see you next time around in about five or six days. Oh, and uh, we'll see you when we do an update over at Mark's house. Oh, yeah, we're going to gonna do an update in a few days at my house. I've got several clutches that are shedding out now, so we'll be doing more of this in a bigger tub. Psst, psst. <laughs> Tell Chad you want to see them in a bigger tub. But no. then they're crawling everywhere. Exactly. Okay. More fun. Yeah. <laughs> I need to try that next time. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> out. Later. No, I'm not going out. No, out, out. <laughs>